Good morning, children. Today, as planned before, we will be taking the concept called as sorting. Sorting. This problem is very, 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 very important. There are two types of sorting we will be doing. Three to four programs we will do. No, two plus two plus one. Five programs we will be doing on sorting. I am focusing on both the classes. This is class 10 of computer application and class 12 computer science. This sorting technique you should know by all means. You should be able to write the program from back to forth. Means you should be thorough. So please pay attention. Hear me out step by step. Copy down this program. Practice, practice and only practice. There are so many types of sorting. First I will tell you what do you mean by a sorting. A group of elements will be there or group of names will be there. Okay, or group of numbers will be there. You take the numbers, group of numbers, take group of names or take group of elements which are in a jumbled order. Jumbled order means what? It's like a mixed bag. So arrange them in a particular chronological order. If it is a numbers, sort it from smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest biggest to smallest okay otherwise if you have a group of names strings put them in alphabetical order a to z or z to a so this is called a sorting in a particular there are so many fashions so many styles are there so many methodologies are there but in your ICC and ISA they insist only two methodologies one is called this a selection sort, another one is called as bubble sort, right? These two are not. there are quite a good number of them are there. Let's sort. Bother about rest of them, but you should have a knowledge about it. Need not to practice the program. What are the different types of sort? What do you mean by a sort? First and foremost, you need to know that sort is a group of group of elements which are in a jumbled order, take them one by one, put them in a chronological order, this is called as a sort. Today I will be explaining the selection sort. Selection sort, following class, I will be explaining a bubble sort. Okay? We have to do two programs on selection sort, ascending and descending. Two programs on Bubble sort, ascending and descending. Two programs in A to Z order, Z to A order. One can be of selection, another one can be of bubble sort. But predominantly, we will be using the bubble sort. You need to know these two. For it about this one, you need to know. I am telling you as I told you in the beginning. Come in. Boys and girls, you need to be familiar with this program. If you are told to write, I see that every batch I insist and this would be one of your problems in your project work. Soon I will be giving. Soon I will be giving you the project work. What I am trying to tell you is, these two programs you need to know by all means. Imagine this is what I used. You should be able to write from back to forth means you should be thorough. It's not a lip service, boys and girls. Every, the dullest student to the, the brilliant student or the media person, everybody should be familiar with these two concepts. They are sorting in a selection, using the selection sort technique. Another one is arranging the group of numbers or names in a bubbles sort technique. Now, like, what are the different types of sorts are available? We have a shell sort, we have a shuttle sort, we have a selection sort, we have a bubble sort, we have a quick sort, we have a heap sort, and so on. Many, many of them are there. Is there? I am picking up this program from page number 193. 
according to your syllabus, ICC syllabus, you will be having selection and local sort. The same thing is applicable even for class 12. I repeat again, boys and girls, sorting alone will come for class 10. For class 12, what happens is, sorting and other two jobs will be combined together. A couple of concepts will be assorted, amalgamated. So you need to be familiar. This is an important problem for both tenors and brothers. As you all know, whenever I put this symbol, what does it do? This is called as an examination point of view. This program, every chance, no, not every chance, it will strike in your board examination. Both in ICC and ISC in the following year, that is 2021. You need to be familiar. I am giving such a lot of emphasis. I am stressing a lot. You need to know the, uh, recall the value of this program. Boys and girls, you must practice. I told you what is a sort. Sort means what? A group of elements which are arranged in a particular order. Today, I am going to explain the selection sort, which is there in page number 193. Say, take two example I have taken. There are this many elements are there. Let's say that A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, A of 4, A of 5, A of 6. So 0 to 6 means how many elements are there? Put together, there are 7 elements are there in an array. How many elements are there in an array? 7 elements are there. Then, sort them using this methodology called the selection sort. How do I do it? First, it compares. Selection sort in ascending order. Ascending order means what? Smallest to biggest. Descending order means biggest to smallest. Let us let us do it in ascending order. Okay. First of all, what does it do? How many, know, how many elements are there? Seven. Zero to six. How many of them are there? Seven. If there are seven elements, it will do for six times. It will compare for six times. Okay. Look at it. 15 and 6. Is 15 is more than 6? Yes. So the 6 will come and 15 will go. Because among these two, 6 is the least. Again, 6 and 13. Is 6 is less than 13? It remains. Is 6 is less than 22? It remains. Is 6 is less than 3? No. So the 6 will go here and 3 will come here. Is 3 is less than 22? Yes. Is 2 is 3 is less than 2? No. So what happens is 2 will come here and 3 will go here. I repeat again, boys and girls. What happens is among all, there are 7 elements are there. It had compared 6 times. What is the least value is 2. It has brought forth right in the front. Means this will be in your book, they are shown like this. 15. 13, 22, 6, 52, and 3. I am giving a site. Because it's among the seven elements, you compare six times, the least you have found out and keep it aside. How many elements are left to begin? Six elements are left. This is sorted one, this is unsorted one. How many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Among the six elements, you will be comparing. Six minus one will be how much? How much? Five times you will be comparing. When you compare among the six elements, the least value will come. That will be enjoyed here. 15 and 3. 15 is less than 30. Or 15 is more than this. Yes. So what happens is this becomes 13. This becomes 13. Is 13 is less than 22? Yes. Is 13 is less than 6? No. If it is no, 6 will come here. 13 will come here. 6 is less than 22? Yes. 6 is less than? 3, no. So 3 will go here and 6 will come here. So among this 5 times you compare, did you get the least value? Which is 3. So you put it here. 2, 3. Here how many will be there? 15, 22, 30, 52, 6. This is sorted one, this is unsorted one. How many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
when there are five elements are there, how many times it will compare? Five minus one will be four times it will compare. When you compare it, the least value will be there. So, what the least value will be? Two, three, six. This is sorted value, and this is unsorted value. Unsorted value. What happens is six will come here. 15, 22, 13, 15. Again, it will come here. What is this value will be? 13 and join. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 numbers are there. 3 times it will come back. So, this process will continue till the last element. So, what happens is at last you will have a sorted. It was an unsorted array. At last, how many times it will come back? It will come back these many times and you will get the sorted array. Okay? Where the comparisons are more, comparisons are more, it will compare each and every, every element and the least value which will put the first. Then the second least value, it will put the second. Third least value, third, if it is in ascending order. If it is descending order, just the opposite. It will find the most value, biggest number in the first, second biggest number in the second, third biggest number in the third and so on. Okay, this process will continue till the that the array is get sorted. This is called as a selection sort, where comparisons are quite a many of them. Comparisons are quite a many of them. So what you need to do, boys and girls, is this. What you need to do is, so I am going to write the program, which is called as a selection sort, which is, which is a selection sort. I will slightly modify what has been given in your textbook. Textbook, what did they do it? They have given the array 538. They are given it. They are initialize an array. Should I initialize the array or should I input the array? Okay, now I initialize the array today. Right? Next class, I will input an array. Every program I will do. One program will be inputting, another program will be initializing. One program will be inputting, another one will be initializing. Why that? So that you are familiar with the concept of array declaration and array inputting. Then you are also familiar of initializing an array. Now here what I do is I take an integer array. Boys and girls, I take an integer array. Should I? Now here I go. This itself I will make it as a As you all know, boys, the moment you put double slash, that should be a remark statement, should be in one line. The moment you put double slash, this line will not be compiled and it knows it will come to the next line. Next line, what we will do is, I give a class name called this selection. I give a class name called what? Selection. Okay? Now, here what we will do is, I have an array called what? A array. A array, whatever the values you want to give, you can give any value as you like. What you will give is, should I give the same array or should I give something else? You can give anything as you wish. Okay? 146, 37, 79, 
utilize an array called as A, which is of integer and type. How many elements are there? A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, A of 4, A of 5, A of 6, 7, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 0 to 12, how many will be there? 0 to 12, how many will be there? 0 to 12, it will be of 13 elements will be there. Okay, how many elements will be there? 13 elements will be there. So I tell my computer, I am going to use these many variables in my program. What are the variables? I will be using a loop called as i and j. I will be using a variable called as temporary. I will be using a variable called as okay, small, smallest one. Every time when I compare, you compare all of them, this two was smallest, second one is three was smallest, third one is six was smallest. Every time it will pick up the smallest value that will be stored in small and I will also be using a variable called as variable called as position for which I am using units. Then I will be also using a variable called as length. Length of this array. I counted no just now. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So instead of me counting, I can set my use. Length is equal to what the array name is? Array name is a dot. What does it do? It will find the length of this array 0 to 12. Automatically 0 to 12 means what? 13 will be stored in length. Length is the shortest form of length of your array. Okay. What do I do is I'll start finding out the smallest value. Do you remember? We have done a program called what? Finding out the smallest value and the biggest value, maximum minimum. More or less, same technique I'll be using. I'll be using a fast equal for i is equal to 0. I is less than, I is less than of the of Because whatever will be the i value, that will be the position. That will be the now. I begin one more loop for which what do I do is for j is equal to i plus one, j will be less than then minus 1 j plus plus this is the crucial statement which I am going to do the four statements are the very 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 important one which I am going to do right now now what you do is I took the value of a of a of 0 will be 146 a of 1 will be 37 a of 2 will be 79 a of 3 will be 63 a of 4 will be 52 listen here when this program is doing for 10 elements or 13 elements it, the same logic will be implemented even for the array which is of a huge in size same logic will be used. Instead of giving 13 values, you give 300 values. 13,000 values, 130,000 values. The logic is same. Okay? It will follow the same technique. Okay? I will take, though there are 13 elements are there, I will take only 0 to 4. 5 elements I take. What the i value will be? i value will be 0. So, what happens is, i plus 1 will be j. 
whatever may be the i value, if it is 0, 0 plus 1 will be 1. So 146 and 137 gets compared. If you want to keep them, at the moment I come across, this is the crucial statement of this program. If A of J is less than small. What the small value is? The first value will be. Or you can put A of I also you can put. Is that a big deal? The moment it finds the smallest value, as you come across, is 146 is less than 37 is immediately 37 will be the small value. Small value will be what? A of I. Followed by position will be what? It will be, it was 0, now it will be. When I compare this to this is the least value, what is the position for this? 1. So this will be J value. Okay, it will be keep doing it. If 37 is less than 79, no. Already 37 is 37. Now when I compare this 146 is less than 37, yes. So the swapping will take this. Swapping means what? It will interchange, which I am going to do right now. What will do it? It will swap it. What the, how does the swapping will take this? I will tell you one thing. These two I have. On my left I have a piece of chalk. On my right I have a page mark. I want to interchange. Swapping we call it. S-W-A-P-P-I-N-G or swap. S-W-A-P. I want to interchange. I cannot put in the air. So what I do is, any one of them keep it in a temporary place. Either this or this. So this is I, this is J. What I do is, I, I value, I keep it here. The place where I keep it is called as temp value. I value will go to temp. J value will come to I. Temp value will come to J. Has it been swapped? Has it been interchanged? Yes. Same technique which I am going to adapt right now. Same technique I am going to adapt right away. What I do is temporary value will be A of I. I value will go to temp. Then just like A of J will go to A of I. Then temp value will come to A of temp value will come to A of J. These are very very simple technique. This process will continue this and this because at least value so 146 will come 37. This and this will come back. That's what is less so it won't be so happy will not take place. This and this will come back. Only 37 is small, 63 is bigger, swapping will not take place. This and this will come back. So 37 is least, so swapping will not take place. So there are five units are there, four times you compare the least value is one top. From second, first value to second value you compare. Have you 146 is greater than 37? In third, 79, yes, 79 will go here, 146 will come. 79 is more than 63? Yes. So 63 will come, 79 will come. 63 is greater than this? Yes. So this will be 52, this will be. 63. Then again, these three values are there to come back. This process will continue in the I loop and J loop. It will be keep repeating till the end of this sorting takes place. Once it gets over, then print for I is equal to 0, I is less than, then I plus plus. Means the array is sorted. Now, what you are going to do is you are going to print the you are going to print the array before that one message you can give system dot out dot print and then sorted array so what I do is for i is equal to 0 i is less than then 
I plus plus system dot out dot print L. print what it is end of method end of class please note even if we don't give it will work fine I am not using system dot out dot print L and print only why if I put print L all of them will come. So what is this sorted array? All the elements will come horizontally. If you want to display the element in horizontally, A of I plus backslash T. Zeroth element will print, one tab will come. Second element will come, five spaces, one tab means five space. Five space will be there. Third element, one tab. Fourth element like this, all the 13 elements gets displayed. Right? Pause this video boys and girls, okay, copy down, copy down this, practice, practice, practice. I have nothing, because I have no control over you, what I can tell you, I can simply instruct you, I can carry you, I cannot carry you. As a famous quote of our principal always, isn't it? I can tell the horse to, I can take the, take the horse to the pool, I cannot make the horse to drink the water as they say, no? Similarly, I can tell you, this is a very, very important program. You need to know by all means. In your colloquial language, by hook or crew, you should know this. Copy down this, practice and practice. Come back to your textbook on page number 195. This program, the answer will be the same. I have changed, I made some changes. Copy down, practice, practice and practice okay